Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at my most recent Mesh-tastic build. This is a stationary device that will be run off solar and hopefully we're going to get through the winter with this thing. Alright, like I said, we're going to take a look at my most recent Mesh-tastic build. This is a device that will hopefully last the winter. I have a giant battery in here. Uh, I'm not going to run two solar panels off of it, but I currently have the ability to run two solar panels. Uh, let's have a look at this thing and see where I am and uh, what I'm going to do still to it. We'll start from the outside. So currently I have these Flex solar panels. I've posted these, uh, link to these in the past. I got these on Amazon, they're super cheap, six watts, each, six watts each panel, and it is the matte finish, uh, so good for UV, um, you know, longevity that way. I have an adapter here with a, you know, they call this a waterproof connector. Let's uh, have a look here, but it's a, it's just a USB C cord and screws onto the bottom, and uh, yeah. So if I'm not going to run two panels, probably just popping that off directly into the panel. And uh, if I really want it to last the winter, I'm probably just gonna epoxy the whole thing there just to protect that and then have the ability to plug directly into the box. So uh, starting with the external of the box, a 3D printed pole mount and the uh, hose clamps that just slide right, right on through here and uh, allow you to mount it to a, a nice firm fence post or a pole. I have the knockoff alpha antenna off of Amazon on here. These things do really, really well. I've test tested these with a couple of local fellas and uh, you know the, the, the gain on them with the, the size and the price, it just is too good to pass up. Uh, then this is just a cheap Amazon box. Let's pop it open here. So currently running, let's Flip that around, the Lido Cala 26650, 5,000 milliamp hours uh, into the Adafruit board. This will control the, with the little USB-C ribbon cable that goes down to the solar panel input. And then the output to the rack board. Bluetooth antenna, pretty simple inside. This isn't going to be the final configuration. Uh, it's not even screwed down completely yet, but I do just use little zip ties. Um, and put the zip ties straight through and then use a second zip tie, just the head of it on the other side to hold everything down. So I'm going to put a link to all the stuff that I've used in this build. So if you're wanting to look into it or have a look at the specs on those, uh, all the, the links to these products are down below. Um, but yeah, this is the one I'm going to have outside. And uh, I'm hoping that this is going to last the winter nice and sealed up. I'll probably use a little bit of additional sealing around there and around here once I final build this. Uh, like I said, these aren't in their final positions. I'm going to mount these a little bit differently. Also a little elbow so that I can get to the USB-C on the rack board, uh, you know, for doing updates and that sort of thing. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. See what you, th uh, see what you guys are building. Tell me, uh, tell me your thoughts. Is this going to last the winter? Uh, up here in Canada, you know, it gets very, very wet and very cold. So I will probably have some desiccant in here as well. And, uh, you know, like I said, will this last? Only time will tell. See what, uh, see what happens. It'll probably go up on my chimney mount, uh, same as the other home node I have. Probably run one on medium slow, one on long fast. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. Thanks for looking at my most recent build, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, like I said, all the links to the products that I've used here uh, are in the comment or in the description. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.